being a good summoner. Caring about caring about his own summons. Oh wow. I'm probably the only ranger who doesn't go nature ring, and you're probably wondering why. Well, it's because I don't feel like it, and I don't like this isn't DPS, I want first DPS. So for um, mastery, just get the right path, and then the middle, the halfway middle point. Um, I don't want the other masteries because they don't increase my damage directly, so I do not care for them. Um, and the aggro proficiency, it's useful for MV, you'll see when you find out. And also, I went way of life, it's just the best um, covenant for this. And then Soul Tree, as per usual, you want damage 2 and crit especially because this build converts your speed into critical chance, so you have 70 critical chance. Um, and for defense tree, you want the top, the top, the middle path, then just get all the left side. And then there's, you don't need Metrum's amulet, it already has a lot of um, AoE moves as you see right there. It basically deletes everything in the overworld, very boring. I didn't have access to Trials on this one, and I cannot be asked to unlock it on this slot. Just know that they no diff Trials as well, if you want to progress p tint mark. As you can see, notice everything, takes no damage because it dodges literally everything. And now, if you haven't told, seen by now, the theme of this is Solar Eclipse. Basically, the soul color is blue, so my man daggers are blue like the moon, and when I trigger flames, I trigger the suns, and when both of them are combined, you do a solar eclipse amount of damage. Ha ha ha, very funny. So creative, oh my god. And then the name is Vale, because it's the closest to Valerie for moon. Ha ha ha, so original, what the hell. Basically, how you play this one is, um, this class, you go for enrichment, and then you go for surprise package, into, um, godspeed, and then stinger. Stinger is probably the most broken skill out of its entire kit. It's 7 power, but it hits 3 times, so it's 21 power from the arrow, arrow shooting. And also, um, yeah, it can, that means it has 3 chances to proc Fern from Inferno, which means there's more chances to get Dragon Ring when trying to go for Burst DPS, so yeah. And basically, this class is just a, a more fun Lancer. I don't think it would do more damage per se. They're pretty much even if you had similar setup. Except for if you had Stun, Lancer might hit a little bit harder. But that's the beta goal. But basically, you can stack a ton of damage buffs using Verdan Archer passive and your enrichment. As you see, you gain a buff in damage and speed when you dodge. Unfortunately, you can't really use this in bosses because there's only one boss, so he only get like hit like once per turn. But in MV, you can get hit by like all the shade blades, so you just pop your um your flourish, and then all the shade blades will target you because of the aggro proficiency, and you'll do a ton of damage and have enough buffs to set up for Stinger or Surprise Trap. And if someone triggers Supply Trap, you do a lot of damage because your speed and Surprise Trap scales with speed. Also, the artifact is Expedite Amulet. When you use God Speed, you gain almost double speed, which when converted, into, and that also converts into your crit chance, giving you 100% crit chance, and then you win. You're probably disappointed that I was just mainly using Stinger, but Stinger is pretty much the easiest one to use in bosses where you can't stack the Veridan Archer damage buff and abuse it to its fullest potential. So yeah, that's why. Also, the Stinger is actually really good. Like, the other the other supers, they have like 16 power, 18 power, whatever. But a Stinger, if you use math, it, you know you would know that it's at least 21 power, which is really good. Also, you can also Surprise Trap Stinger Nuke um, Thorian, but be careful. You have to trigger the Surprise Trap with the very first tick of Stinger, or else you'll heal him for like full HP. I'm sure you've seen that video with Mage with a Gun video, and you'll know that that's what happened, and they and they pretty much um lost, I think. I didn't watch the entire video, lol. And then for Thorian, I use the most generic setup possible. That shit is boring now. But um, basically, you you can meditate the two times at the very start of the battle if someone gets plague intentionally. So you can get five energy at like turn three off the bat. So it's really nice for setting up if people want to do that to kill it. So yeah, but yeah, this class has like so many more options compared to Lancer in terms of like gameplay and like how fun the class is. Also, be careful if you're massive walk speed. You can accidentally walk off the map. And that happened to a few of my friends who were playing Stultis Ranger, and that was funny as hell. Good thing none of them were playing Legendary, so yeah.
And that's about it. Enjoy the video.